yard line. It'll be coming up on a second and three. Butler, the stopper for the Yellow Jackets. Well, rolls out. Got time. Got a man. Whoa. Touchdown, yes. Jayhawks. First of the season. McDougal. And goal. Webb finds his man. Touchdown, Berry. Tim Berry, the tight end. And the Jayhawks take the lead. 12 in the wall. Second goal from the four. Nesbitt stumbled, but then picks up and takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech in Kansas. 14-14, tail end of the first half. Georgia Tech trying to take the lead, and Nesbitt drills it in the end zone. Incomplete. 20, including 4-4 in the ACC title game. And he knocks this one through with plenty to go. And... Georgia Tech takes the lead with 37 seconds remaining in this first half of the goal to go from the two-yard line. Sims strolls into the end zone. Kansas takes advantage of that field position and, as a result, has the lead again. If KU takes advantage here, first to 10 at the 32. Patterson gets his sixth reception of the day. Still wow. dancing. It's scattering. Oh, no! Patterson, he scores! Oh, I got a celebration flag going on here. Got a little celebration penalty, unfortunately. Four great players off of last year's Orange Bowl team. Uh -oh. Going deep here, trying to get it all back. In the end zone, touchdown! What touchdown, a catch Georgia by State. Stephen Hill! Number Man, Steve. Two plays that went for 86 yards in passing of the 96 yards on the drive and going for two here. Nesbitt, complete, Hill again. And just like that, 28-25, Georgia Tech within three. The play of the game, Nesbitt. Looking to throw here. Incomplete, intended for Hill, and Kansas should win this one. You know, Turner Gill is kind of like the whole thing's on sports because it doesn't it's all a moot point anyway But Paul Johnson pulling out all the stops Turner Gill gets the win. What a win for the Jayhawks They celebrate in Lawrence as the Jayhawks get their first win of the season and they do it in incredible style knocking off Georgia Tech They've got a first and goal at the three Hand off to Sims again busting down to the five working stretching out Touchdown! Wow, great finish running right over. The 38, Colorado jumping great play. there. Pass play underway. Wilson caught it at the 10 and down to the pylon. Touchdown! Got it. That should be a free play for 10-5. Colorado. There's Hawkins and a reverse. Gonna be blown out. The ball's there. Fakes a handoff to Stewart. He rolls out to the right and he throws it. Intercepted. KU's got it. Tyler Patman out of bounds. For KU down seven after trailing by 28. Go to Sims again. Cutting to the outside. Touchdown. Ted McNall. Sims is the running back. They go to Sims. 25. Millard will throw it to Sims, cutting back towards the middle, right down the seam, and into the end zone for a touchdown. That's without their running quarterback, so to speak, under center. And here is that running quarterback on the roll with a pass towards the sideline. And it is complete. Three for three this season from this range. And he, second and goal from the three. Sims. In the first half, You've got 39 seconds to work with as they pitch the ball back, and this is James Sims. 68 yards as the kicker at West Virginia, and this one won't even have a chance. Forget the wind; it's blocked. Keon Stowers, Millard, threw it right to Kansas. 
right to Ben Goodman, who's off to the races, trying to fend off the quarterback who slows him down and runs him out of bounds. It is a career day for James Sims, who is now rushing for a new career high in yards. And he got in. Brandon Bourbon for the touchdown. See it, the scene unfolding here at Memorial Stadium. The first time they've gotten a chance to celebrate a conference win since November 6th of 2010. For the final score, Kansas 31, West Virginia 19. Doesn't lose momentum and scores another touchdown in the first quarter after a 20-yard pass from Cummings to tight end Janae Mundine. By the second quarter, KU has three touchdowns under their belts, leading the Cyclones 24-0. Touchdown, Kansas! Iowa State's able to pull it together and scores a touchdown, ending the first half 24-7. The Cyclones keep it going and make a second touchdown at the top of the third quarter. But that would be their last scoring play, and KU answers with a touchdown to bring the score to 31-14. Iowa State ends the third quarter with a fumble, picked up by KU linebacker Victor Simmons. When I'm going in for the tackle, I saw him bring it down and by his waist, and so I just was focused on making a solid tackle and if I could feel around for the ball. Hope runs out for Iowa State after KU cornerback Ja'Cory Shepard intercepts a pass in the end zone. It was, it was amazing, you know, uh, very exciting. KU spends the rest of the quarter running down the clock, winning the game 34 to 14. Looking to shock the visitors and reward their seniors who've had a long journey through their careers here. We'll talk Kansas and tee it up next from Lawrence. It's Texas and Kansas in the Big 12 on a November Saturday afternoon. Dave Foreman will be the running back next to him. They'll throw on first down quickly. Out to Ja'Cory Warwick, and he's got a lot of green ahead of him. No flags. Touchdown, Texas. Positive influence on this team. Michelle throws a pick. Lots of green field ahead. Brandon Stewart is going to score for the Jayhawks. That resets to the right. They'll give it to Foreman going that way. Penetration. Can they stop him? Or will he power into the end zone? Touchdown, Texas. Oof. Did not stop the game for it. So Foreman here will walk into the end zone. Barely touched. Touchdown, Texas. Herbert has the touchdown for the Jayhawks. Oh, the direct snap. And the reverse. Sims looking to throw. Now he'll try for the corner, and he's got it. Six yarder. And this ball game is tied with seven seconds to go. Michelle to throw. Under pressure. Gets away. Gets it off. Intercepted. It's intercepted. Mike Lee, ball comes out, Kansas recovered. Jayhawks win.